Welcome guys. I have updated my Android Studio to the latest version. Font size have been increased for better understanding. In the last tutorial we have seen how to build an app bar with a title. In case if you want to see that just click this notification. In this tutorial, we will see how to place an icon in the center of the app bar. Let me keep the title aside. I have uncommented it by double slash. Okay, now we got our title aside. Now, let me go below the action widget. To get the icon in the center, we should use the flexible space property. Inside that, let me use the icon widget. Within the open braces of the icon widget, choose your icon. Place the dot after the icons to have a list of available icons. Let me choose this. And saving it to run. Now we got the icon in the center, but above the app bar. First let me change the color to white. So within the icon, use the color property. Type colors dot and choose white color. So now you can see the icon in white. But we need our icon within the app bar. To do this, just click the icon widget and then click the yellow bulb nearby. There you can see the option, wrap with a widget. Now, replace the widget with safe area. The area below the small bar is safe area. Now, you can see our icon within the app bar. But it was too small, let me make this big enough. To make the icon big, within the icon widget, use size property. And fix your required size, here let me fix it as 50.0. Yeah, we got what we need. Next, let me build another small bar, below the app bar. After the safe area widget, let me use bottom property. As the screen size varies, let me use preferred size widget, so that it will be same for all the devices. Inside this widget let me use the container widget as a child property. Container is nothing but a layout widget, which can be used of any preferred sizes. Now, let me fix its color for your better understanding. Let me save this to reload. As the size of the container is not fixed, it is not visible to us. Let me use the height property. Now fix this as 50.0. Yeah, we got the container, but above the app bar. Let's see how to get it below the app bar. You can use the preferred size property to fix any size. Use it by size dot, as we need to get it below. Let me use it as size dot from height. Now just keep the size as 50.0. Now just keep the size as 50.0. Yes, finally we got it. Let me use the container space by placing a text in it. So within a container, if you want a text you use child property. Say, the text be as Android developers.
We got the output. The height is perfect, but the width is too small. We need to fix the width, but it should be same for all devices. Let me fix the width using width property. Here, you can use double dot infinity, so that the container fills the entire width space of the screen. Ok, we go the container for the entire width, but here the text seems to be too small. So, to increase the text size, use style property. First, let me use color property. And change the text color to white. Now the font color is better, and the next step is to change the font size. To increase the font size, we need text style widget and here we already have it, so simply use font size property, and fix your required size. Placing the text in the center would be better. To have it in the center, simply click the text widget, and click the yellow bulb, then choose wrap with center option. Now, we got the text in the center. Now, let me show, how to highlight the text. To highlight it, let me use background color property. Ok, we got the background color. Let me also explain, how to bold the font. To bold the font, we need font weight property. Fontweight.bold will make the font bold. Here, you can see various thickness of fonts available. Done. Thank you, and see you in another tutorial.